discuss the next problem so let me first make the diagram so we have a cylinder and there is a piston in the middle that divides the cylinder mass of the piston is m so let us say this has a mass m cross sectional area of the piston is s so area of this piston is s if you see in the three dimension it will look something like this so you have a cylinder and then you have a piston here so the area of this piston is s and the mass is m now of course this piston is kept horizontal not not vertical so piston and the cylinder system has been kept horizontal now let me write this question says in a cylinder filled with ideal gas so this cylinder contains ideal gas so let us say both side you have ideal gas so i can apply now pv is equals to nrt equation if i need and close from both ends now it says in equilibrium the piston divides the cylinder into two equal parts so this part and this part are equal let us say volume of this side is v not so volume of this side is also v not now the question says the gas pressure is also p not both side of course both side should be equal pressure because this is frictionless so it can move so it you must have force from this side is equals to force from this side that is the both side we should have same pressure the piston was slightly displaced from equilibrium position and released so what we are doing is so this is the equilibrium position and now we are displacing this piston so let us say if i displace right there is no problem i can displace right or left so this is the initial situation of piston now if i displace right by a small distance let us say this small distance is x if i displace by a small distance x now question say this is start doing a shm pistons to shm find the oscillation frequency assuming that the process of gas is adiabatic and this is also sorry also given that the process is adiabatic so in this system the gases follow adiabatic process are you getting so this process is adiabatic now you see you have to find time period for this oscillation now i will give you a hint how will you proceed you see once you move this piston this side of course this side pressure will be decrease because volume has decreased so this side you have less volume you will have more pressure this side you will have more volume less pressure this means now this side you will have a resultant force because this side pressure is less this side pressure is more so resultant force will be in this direction so this piston if you shift this piston this side this will try to move this this side that is the mean position so you just find this extra force and equate it to mass into acceleration so i will give you some more hint first find out the volume this side volume this side pressure this side pressure this side find out the difference in pressure and then write the equation i will give you one minute time i think some of you must can do this one and you can also use to find pressure pv gamma is equals to constant you can use that one also Okay, let us discuss. So, what is the volume this side? So, this 
So this volume, that is the extra volume, so if I display this side and the piston area is A, so this volume is A into delta X, so I can say left side I will have volume, so left side volume will be initial volume was V naught, now there is an increase in volume A into X and area is given S and right side will have volume, so if you see right side there is a decrease in volume that is V naught minus S into X. Now I can find left side pressure that the PV gamma is equals to constant so let us say we find left side pressure. So how we will find, we will find using the, let us call this as a P1, left side pressure is P1, so I apply PV gamma is equals to constant, so initial pressure was P0, initial volume was V0, this is gamma equals to constant, now the new pressure is P1, volume is V0 plus Sx to the power gamma, so this means P1 is equals to P0 and V0 divided by V0 plus Sx raised to the power gamma. Are you getting? Similarly, we can find right side pressure. Let us call this as a P2. So I will have right side pressure. Let us call this as equals to P2. So again, I will apply PV gamma equals to constant. So P0, V0 to the power gamma is equals to P2 v2 is v0 minus sx to the power gamma this is equals to so from here I can find p2 so p2 is p0 v0 by v0 minus sx to the power gamma so this is the p2 now let us discuss the motion of this piston because mass of the piston is given to you So if I consider the motion of piston, what are the forces acting on the piston? So if you see, uh, this is my piston. From this side there is a force, so this piston is basically displaced from distance x. So this distance is x. I think I can remove the top one. So from this side, from left side, left side pressure is P1, you see your copy. So I can say from this side the force will be P1 into S right side there will be force will be P2 into S. So resultant force in this direction will be P2 minus P1 into S and this should be equal to mass into acceleration and this X is this side, the force is acting this side so I have to apply a minus sign. Mass into acceleration, acceleration is D2X by DT square and I know the value of P2, P1, you see the back, you have P2 and P1 so you can plug the value of P2 P2 is this, P1 is this, so if I plug the value of P2 and P1, so I will have P0 is common, I will have V0 divided by V0 minus Sx to the power gamma, this is P2 minus P1 is V0 divided by V0 plus Sx to the power gamma, are you getting? I think a P2 is this, so P2 minus P1, this is equals to minus m d2x by dt square. Now what I will do is, now I can apply approximation, so let us take V0 to the power gamma common, so we will have V0 to the power gamma, if you take common, or I can do other way around. Okay, so let us do this. Let us take, let us divide by V0. So we will have 1 by 1 minus Sx by V0 to the power gamma minus 1 by 1 plus Sx by V0 to the power gamma. Are you getting this is mass into acceleration? So this is minus m d2x by dt square. Now if you expand binomially, so let us say first let us write 1 minus Sx by V0 to the power minus gamma minus 1 plus 
एस एक्स वाई वी नॉट टू दावर गामा माइनस गामा दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस एम डी टू एक्स वाई डी टी स्क्वायर सो ना इफ आई एक्सपैंड सॉरी इफ आई एक्सपैंड बायनोमेली सो आई विल हैव वन माइनस एक्स टू दावर एन दैट इज वन माइनस एन एक्स सो सिंपली दिस विल बी वन प्लस एस एक्स वाई वी नॉट एंड दिस विल बी माइनस वन एंड दिस विल बी माइनस ऑफ एस एक्स वाई वी नॉट सो माइनस माइनस प्लस एस एक्स वाई वी नॉट this is equals to minus m d 2 x by d t square so we will have one one goes out so we will have p not 2 p not s by v not m also in 2 x let us put minus this side d 2 x by d t square now this shows the simple harmonic motion with omega is equals to under root 2p not s by m v not so time period will be 2 pi by omega where omega is given by this equation are you getting so we have to find out the time period ah basically i have missed this gamma so nx so i will have gamma here there is a gamma so there is a gamma also so this will be gamma there will be because 1 plus nx is equals to 1 plus a, x to the power n is 1 plus nx so i have missed the gamma ah one more mistake i have so this is s so this multiplied by s will be there so this multiplied by s this multiplied by s So this will be s square everywhere. So let us say s here. So finally we'll have s square. So here also we'll have s square. Are you getting? So here we will have s square. So I miss this s. You see in the top, this multiplied by s. I have not written s here. So I have to multiply by s everywhere. You multiply by s. So finally this will be two s x into gamma. I have to s into s to so s square. So this will be s square into gamma. Final answer will also contains s square. Are you getting? If you want, you can take s common also because this is s square. So if you take s common, so it will become omega is equals to s under root two p naught gamma by m b naught. So this is the omega. So time period will be two pi omega. Omega is given by s into under root two p naught gamma. M B not goes on the top, so this will be the time period. Are you getting? We'll discuss the next problem. Now let us see what are the important points we have in this question. Is this question is relates the concept of adiabatic process S H M and some ideal gas process. So you see what is happening if we displace the piston. One chamber of the cylinder will have lesser pressure. Other chamber will have other chamber will have higher pressure so this means if you press now chamber will press the piston initially you have to press the piston after that equilibrium of chamber is displaced one side will have higher pressure so this piston this will displace the chamber to the left side right piston will be displaced to the left side and then left chamber will have different pressure so now left chamber will press so this will continue to the shm motion now what is the different how to find the difference in pressure for that let us say one side pressure is p one other side pressure is p2 now pressure is related to the volume and the process is adiabatic so i can always calculate pressure p1 and p2 both side and then i have to find the difference in pressure and once i know the difference i know the resultant force that is acting on the piston and i can equate resultant force is equals to mass into acceleration from there i can get the omega so this is a simple problem only thing is you have to find out the p1 p2 in terms of exponent gamma and then you have to equate mass into acceleration we'll discuss the next problem